I, I met Didi in uh, 1981. I think one of the most exciting things uh, about that era was we were actually pre-internet. Uh, you know, social media had to do with wearing out your uh, your Chuck Taylors uh, by walking the streets and pounding them. So you got to meet a lot of people who were into the same stuff that you were into. So we kind of formed this kind of alliance with uh, you know many of the other uh, local New York bands, whether they be hardcore or metal bands. You know, whether it was Nuclear Assault or Carnivore, which later became Typo, or the Biohazard guys in the early days, or you know, knew the Cro-Mags and the Crumb Suckers. You know, so it was an exciting scene that was starting to explode. There was no uh, specific rule uh, to what was happening, and those rules uh, uh, of what we knew to be music were thrown out, and new ones were created. Uh, so I think the most exciting part about uh, being in a band back then was, uh, let's say, being a front row for something that was uh, ready to explode and being created from day to day. And I think the difference uh, between, let's say, that 1980 era uh, to 2016 is that there is no wearing out the sneakers uh, anymore. It's, uh, it's a different thing. I mean, I know I'm sounding old and cold here, but uh, our social media was, you know, shaking hands and, and putting, uh, you know, flyers on the windshield wipers. Uh, I think that what you have now is that you, know, a, you have a wealth of information at your fingertips and you can get your stuff out. But I think it's, uh, it's a different metal that you have uh, when you actually have to get out there and, and, and do hands-on type work. So really, really was exciting. And, and, and I think the, probably one of the things I'm most proud of uh, is through all these changes uh, over a 30-year period, uh, you know, whether it be social media or anything, is that m this music and that scene that was created back then on the streets of New Jersey or in San Francisco or in Los Angeles or in Essen, Germany, have stood the test of time. Um, and still have value, uh, you know, this many years or decades later.